This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey, everybody. Uh, we were blessed with the presence of Pete Rosethorn this morning talking about his musical theatre and the fact that he's going to be on a TV show. Uh, if you had a chance to do a bombing in Elvis Presley's pool, would you? Mm-hmm. I mean, of course you would. We're going to talk to other people that took the chance when they saw it. Yes, we talk about an orangutan that gets a bit feisty and turfs <laughs> someone out of his house. Yep. Well, don't go in his nest, all right? Um, let's get on the choo-choo train with Kim Jong-un. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, eh? This is Nathan, Nathan, Nat, Nat and Sean yeah. on Nova. Over 937. Three past six, Nathan Atten, Sean Morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, Made it to Wednesday. I hope you're all out right now putting anchors on your trampolines yes. and um, you know, boarding up the Severe windows. Severe winds, Nate. Severe winds. Lightning down the hatches. Oh, like like they, a cyclone coming through, they reckon. It's going to be amazing. So there will be like a gust of wind like this. The, um, they, yeah, no, they just drum it up, don't they? Oh. If you're an RACM member or have RAC yes. insurance, they sent everybody send everybody text messages of uh, how dangerous it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, I'm. And it's like, did you get that? No, nah, it probably went to Megan. She wouldn't have told me. Um, I'll get blown yeah, away. She's like, Sean, you got a lot of driving to do today. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit the roads for a very long time. Actually, can we get you in a convertible? One hundred percent. And can you drive on long bridges? Yeah. Um, the, it's all the weather seems to be slipping past us so far. Like oh, because the wind's just pushing yeah, it. Yeah, because they were talking about that the storm was going to hit at 4am, which, of course, it was actually quite warm No, coming morning. down the freeway this morning, I thought, I was waiting yeah. for Because sometimes kind of when you're driving... Down the okay, coast a bit. so yeah. just to be clear, right now, um, there's probably a couple out there that are on either side of the trampoline trying to flip it upside down so it doesn't fly mm. off. Do they just leave the trampoline the right side up? Um, no, I think no, they should reasons. probably flip it. Flip it, flip it. Yeah. Right. Flip it and flip reverse it. Everybody, if you can this morning take the time to flip your trampolines, because we all own one. You should have, you should have done it yesterday, to be honest. Trampoline? You had plenty of warning. Uh, I just took it down and put it on the council verge just recently. Did like, you? Just a few weeks ago. Oh, so you dismantled it and yeah, put it on the verge? Yeah. It is I the suppose... worst thing in the world, and parents know this, to put a trampoline together. It's one of the hardest oh, yeah. things ever. Because so, it so, happened on so, Christmas Eve after several... So several Santa doesn't problems. put it together, so you know Santa does sometimes, but... So the fact that it was put together, you could have been kind to the people that are picking them up off the verge, and then it would, they've now got to put it back together. As yeah, well. yeah, and I'll oh, put it all in bits. Oh, or was it so bits. you could like get it out of the bits. yard? Was that the issue? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. no. You know, but once the also, net is bashed to yes. smithereens, you can't have it there. But anymore. also, it's it's safety as well. I suppose you can't have a tramp a functioning trampoline on a verge. You can see have <laughs> kids bob, double bouncing each other over the cars. <laughs> Out of the road constantly. Uh, you know, you're only a what if away from a holiday with what if.com. You could go to the dentist or all the kids' sports. But what if it was a weekend on the coast instead? Book hotels, holiday rentals, apartments, and more. What if it's Aussie for travel? Kim Jong Un <laughs> seems like a really good bloke, hey? Well, you're gonna want to yeah. say that. Well, you know, because <laughs> Interesting. Like, look, here it is. Like he, um, the rocket man. He loves his haircut. He knows how good it looks. <laughs> so he he forces every man in the country to have the same one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty so. amazing how many holes in one he gets at golf. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See that yeah. All the amazing time. talent. But amazing um, talent. Uh, it's amazing to find out how he travels. This is unbelievable. <laughs> He's gone to see Vladimir Putin. Yep. God, imagine them two together. So that's like Can just, you just imagine when the doors are closed what evil is being concocted? That's yeah. just catching up with the neighbours, Nathan. That's it, that's the neighbours, yeah. <laughs> Commies. Wouldn't that be great if you lived in a, a street where all the neighbours are as evil as each other? <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> anyway, um, this train, did you read about this train? It is unbelievable. The train has at least 20 bulletproof cars. That <laughs> so increase you don't know which weight. one he's in. It's increased the weight um, by so much that it has a top speed of 59 kilometres per hour. 59, very specific. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's how they, heavy Those things is. fly, yeah. yeah, generally. Yeah, so um, a few, very few people outside of his trusted circle have been on his train, um, but they said that it's really, really opulent in there, like, you know, full of, like, leather armchairs and all this sort of stuff, but they said that the other that's, luxuries... That's the height, um, leather yes. armchairs. Well, you know, <laughs> but it could be, well, to be honest, in North Korea, no, I'm sure well, no one can many people that got... would have a leather yeah. armchair. Uh, yeah, so... They have a wide variety of food on offer on this flight, uh, on this train. Um, you can have Russian, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, French cuisine at the drop of a hat. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Carrots this is chicken weird would thing. be my go. This is a weird thing. Um, uh, on the bo- on board of the train, um, uh, all the people are constantly entertained by young female singers who were introduced as lady conductors. 
<laughs> okay, so they they're in uniform like they they work on the train yeah. and then they just burst into song. Like it, remember, Johnny the... <laughs> <laughs> remember Johnny Rockets? Remember Johnny Rockets? Where you'd happy be eating birthday. a burger at Molly Galleria and the next minute someone would swipe your sauce bottle and start singing into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, can you stop singing and get my chips? <laughs> That's really great. That's so good. I love to go on that train. <laughs> Do you remember? Is that not? That's insane, isn't it? I mean, the, the, it's what he can, unsurprising. It is no, unsurprising, but the, the power and everything of this man. This man mm. has people in this country can't eat. No, yeah, because starting. of him. Because of him. Yeah, that's right. And that he w- can't be stopped. And he'll hand it down to his next family member, mm. who will hand it down to their next family member, and it'll just go on forever because no one can say anything because they get, get shot in the face. Yeah, hundred percent. You've got a red dot on your head now. <laughs> <laughs> Uzi 9 millimetre. Oh, it's taken a turn. It's Nat and Sean on Nova 937. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. We all love orangutans. <laughs> They're so strong. Yeah. They Except are strong. for possums. Uh, we all seen what happened at Perth Zoo. Our, this orangutan is now famous. Isn't I'm going to say worldwide I know. famous. Yeah, it is worldwide now, no, yeah. at the moment. So yeah. a possum decided to go into uh, the orangutan's enclosure and uh, got it into his bed. up in its nest. Got yeah. into his bed and the orangutan was not happy. Um, uh, you know, f- like sort of scared the possum. The possum scurried up a it thing. poked it with a stick. Got a stick and was poking it. <laughs> so funny. The and then he finally got hold of the possum who broke into his house and got into his bed and he threw it. He um, needed him He's right out of the enclosure. Everybody at the Persu reacting to what they were saying. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> the God Goldilocks of no, possums. No, Get sorry, out of my bed. Sorry, sorry, away. sorry. The Persu said he's fine. Are you Are you going to go on record as saying the Persu are lies, Nathan? Well, I'm just wanting to see a uh, a photo of the fine possum. <laughs> well, it ran away. Relaxing <laughs> on a banana lounge <laughs> with a cocktail. <laughs> because um, they did report also that that orangutan threw that possum into another enclosure that had two more orangutans. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hey leave it, so I don't know if that's Hatch. fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, very hard. And torn apart. They're very hardy little <laughs> fellas, obviously. They are. It's amazing. Like, but I tell you what, though, I mean, you know, animal laws are a little bit looser than human laws, mm. so, I mean, like, the orangutan can't be upset that a possum got into his bed. I think it's a really rude reason to be thrown out. Oh, no, I think no, if you no find way, somebody, somebody or something in your bed... Walking into your house, someone's in your We're room. We're humans. This is an animal. Yes, still. Even worse. This is an animal. And it doesn't, have, it doesn't have... Okay, if, you, it's, if you're leaving your door open, by the way, which is door is always open, and someone comes into your house and flogs stuff, that's bad on them. But also, you're an idiot. No, but the orangutan hung up a sign that said no possums. <laughs> no. So that is totally <laughs> his defence in, in a court of law. <laughs> in a court of that. jungle law. Uh, it must be really um, uh, unfair when you are kicked out or thrown mm. out of somewhere for a ridiculous reason. There was mm. an article at a while back that had um, a bunch of people that were uh, told to leave different establishments. And let me t- I'll read out some of the reasons why. Let Please. me know if they're, mm. if, if they're over the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. The landlord of a pub spilt a jug of gravy on me. He was taken to a table of diners. He threw me out because I said, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Out you go. No, no, that's reasonable. Okay. Um, my wife got asked to leave a bar because she was laughing too much. Yeah, no. I mean, thought, how much was she laughing, though? Well, I know. Because yeah, you're right. If yeah, you're there's cackling that, up a yeah, storm, it's like, yeah, come on, mate. And it could have been like a nice, quiet wine yeah, bar. Yeah, exactly. Like a 60s, 40s bar. Where All right, a that one's justified. 60-year-old man trying to pick up 40-year-old women. Yeah. Um, walked into a local pub in the 70s yeah. with a few mates. The landlord looked at one of the lads and said, he's not getting served, get out, because he had shoulder-length hair. <laughs> shoulder length hair. Isn't in the so... 70s. Is there anybody who didn't have shoulder length hair in the and 70s? And this guy says, yeah, um, many years ago, I asked the landlord to turn up the volume on the jukebox. Instead of turning it up, um, he turned it off. Uh, I asked my money back. So he said, get out. <laughs> so these are, mm. they all seem to be ridiculous. I mean, they shout out to my mate Justine, who was thrown out of the Como Hotel. What's she um, um, Because she uh, was having a little nap on a bench in the corner. Oh. She's very tired. We were there for a mate's farewell, and she was like, oh, I'm just going to have a little lie down. Down, yeah. And the uh, bounce came up and threw her out. She wasn't completely sourced? No, she, she wasn't. Tired? She was just really tired. Yeah. Yeah. We want to talk about being thrown out of somewhere, and it wasn't fair because it's a ridiculous reason why mm. you're thrown mm. out. Uh, like the possum. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was really, that was a full on throw out. <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. <laughs> Nothing. 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 Nothing.
can savor your way through the Swan Valley and try something new at Entwined in the Swan Valley. Book now at entwinedinthevalley.com.au. Spring has officially sprung, which means it's time to head to Entwined in the Swan Valley. To celebrate this morning, we've got a long table feast at Old Young's Kitchen for you and a friend. How good would that be? Plus, we're going to throw in a $100 gift card and... Five hundred dollars cash. That's a gym joint, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, today's flash foods is all about us holding up a flash card. Um, there'll be two teams. It'll be Ali versus Sean today. They'll be paired up with one of you guys listening right now. So thirteen twenty four ten. Yes, we're going to um, look for callers yeah. number three and nine. Thank you. The flashcards have uh, names of foods on mm. there. So we're using only three words. Sean, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Ali, and that are going to tell their partner, and then the partner's got to guess. Whoever can get as many right as they can in one minute wins. Simple, yeah. right? Good times. Have you got your wits about you? Um, okay. Those two calls. Ali, how are you feeling today about... I don't want to do it. She doesn't. Sure. She, she doesn't, doesn't want to do it. But you're up against well. Sean. Yeah, but... Does that make you feel better about... it was described as a massacre. My... Yeah, I didn't win. I didn't win yesterday. Nathan did beat me did clearly. Did call it a massacre? But like we yeah. said, it's not just about you guys, it's about our partners as That's well. That's right. Then again, it is about you guys. When you get the uh, get the clue, barbecue chicken, and your clue, and what you give out is hot metal. I didn't even know. <laughs> barbecue I've chicken, that. and then he says, as his three words, oh, hot mate, metal. Spring roll, cylinder. No, that was a very good no, description. No, Chinese, no. Cylindrical so, Chinese cylindrical fried. Chinese cylindrical fried. I would have said penis straight away. I should have said, um, I should have said not Chico roll. It was another but, but you couldn't have said roll, Nathan. Oh, so couldn't that have said yeah, roll. Not a chico. Mm. But then it could have been a dim sim. Then I was yes. there, anyway, yes. my point is, it wasn't hot metal <laughs> no, to wasn't. describe a barbecue <laughs> chicken. It was, <laughs> it was closer to a food than hot metal. Hot metal. And then he had another word to use and he stopped. Well, if you want to hear some of that greatness, <laughs> just stick around for the next 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Cracking prize again today, a long table feast at Old Young's Kitchen for you and a friend, plus a $100 gift card and 500 bucks cash. Chanel and Julie are going to go at it this morning. Chanel, we'll start with you. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Chanel, it's usually um, a great privilege to be the first caller because mm. you get to choose from the two uh, teammates mm. and usually there's a, a better choice. <laughs> But like yesterday, Ali Oop went missing. She, she hasn't come back from America. And we've just got plain old dumb Ali. But she could be back. And we've got Sean. He doesn't understand. Well, we don't even know why he's here. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know why he's here. Went to overtime yeah. in the first match. Yeah. That's so, true. So That's sadly, true. there's nothing great left on the table. you just so got to pick what's left in the Bay Marie. What do you reckon, <laughs> Chanel? Oh. I think I'll go Ellie. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good decision. Chanel. I would have gone you. I'll, I'll oh, try my Ellie Oop, though. She no, had an off Ellie, day of nah. not being Ellie Oop. Nah, Ellie That means Julie from Alchemist. Hello. Good morning. Hey, Julie. Julie. You get Julie. Sean. Hey. Mm. That's fine. That's a... That's, <laughs> that's fine. Well, you know, you're fine. Fine. That'll be on his tombstone. That's fine. Sean. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> he was fine. Okay. <laughs> now, your teammate will describe a food for you in three words. Oh, maybe. It could be It could be an ingredient. It could be a, a whole dish. Yeah. So listen very carefully to the clues. You can pass at any time. The objective is okay. to get as many right as you can in a minute. You can have more than one guess mm. per clue. So yeah. if you hear the clue, just keep guessing until you get it right, yeah. if you like. All right. Um, uh, the guys here, they cannot say any of the words that are no. on the card. They cannot rhyme. We've told them the rules. Ellie's not happy yes. about it. She already tried to cheat today. You'll have a minute. <laughs> she did. She clock. asked Amy, our producer, can I have a look at the answers? Yeah. Mm. Amy came in and told us straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, I know who she Amy me too. All right. Chanel and Ellie. Okay. Or as we like to oh call them, Chanel. Um, your... I can't wait for John. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel and Ellie, your time starts right. now. Um, Aussie um, sweet biscuit. Oh, Kim Kim? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Oh. Uh, uh, stale br- bread? Stale bread soup. Crouton. Yes! Uh, French pastry... Uh, buttery. Croissant. Yes! Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 mash on mince. Uh, shepherd's pie. Yes! <laughs> uh, pig crispy breakfast. A uh, bacon. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, French, uh, round sweeties. French round sweeties. You, you, you can pass if you want. Pass, just pass, pass, just pass, just pass. Macarons. Yeah. 
Um, Asian dish, veggies, and. Oh. <laughs> 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 Have you guys the whole recipe? <laughs> <laughs> that was fried, fried rice. Fried rice. Fried um, rice. Oh, sorry. Team Chanel. Five Yay. points. Yay! Well done, Chanel. Oh, Ellie, when did you get that? Yeah, it was good, Ellie. Well well you done. stuck in customs. <laughs> yeah. Well played. All right. Sean Julie matters. and Sean. I just want to go home. <laughs> Yeah, we're in all sorts all right, now, of jewels. Now, before we go on, what would you like your couple name to be? Is it going to be John or Surely? <laughs> I think Surely. Surely. Surely, uh, surely they'll win. So surely they'll win. Team Surely. Okay. No, I did, I did rubbish then. Did, oh, oh, while you so playing, you were playing in your along? head? Oh. <laughs> like, it, maybe you're on Sean's wavelength, though. Who and knows? Okay, if, you can, if you can see through the back of my skull, we're a chance. Otherwise, we're at all sorts. Okay, okay Nathan. All right. Okay. A minute that on was the really good, Ellie. Your time really starts now. Oh, uh, wrapping around sausage. Can I pastry. Say? Oh, oh. puff pastry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. pastry. Um, uh, sweet, uh, sugary, nah. Uh, okay. Cheese, cheese. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, not peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Walnuts. Yes. Brazil nuts. Oh, oh, oh uh, a Chinese <laughs> vegetable. Uh, oh, Spring roll. Oh, 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 oh yep. keep going. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 please. Uh, that was difficult. Oh, uh, um. Macca's chips. Fries. Mm. More information. Salt. Mm. Mm. No. Potato. No. Um, uh, country. Macca's. Yeah, that's uh, American. No, no. no. French, French fries. fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. Oh, sorry. That's um, okay. Fries. How many did they get? They got I had two. Two. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, well, surely. That means be Team Chanel. Take it out. Yeah. 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 Can I say, how down was she about playing? And now she cannot be any higher right now. Do you want me to play tomorrow? (laughs) Yeah, make sure we give you all the easy ones. (laughs) And you come back every time. Hey, Chanel, you are going to have a great time. You've won a long table feast (laughs) at Old Young's Kitchen. They have a very good chef there for you and a friend. Plus a $100 gift card and $500 (laughs) cash. Well played, Chanel. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Well done. You guys, right from the very beginning. Oh, Oh, I'm so happy I got through. Bless you, (laughs) Chanel. You obviously started when you were two. (laughs) Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. Welcome, our friend. We love him, Pete Rosethorn. Just a little look at him, star of stage and screen. Thank you. At the same time and radio. Yeah, amazing. Oliver, you're flashing. Thespian again, Pete. Was he big pardon? Yeah, thespian again. Yeah, he is. He's the Ellen DeGeneres of Perth. Treading the 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 boards. (laughs) So, Pete, we did. I've mentioned this before off air. We had you in here for Priscilla. Yes. Which was the last thing you? Was that the last uh, production you did? The last show I had. That was the last job I had two years ago. <laughs> but no. now you seem to have all the jobs. And it's really unusual because remember during COVID, there was all these stories about you yeah. because the industry, the, the arse fell out of the industry it and did. then you did what? Drove a truck. He drove a yeah. truck. Well, I, so you, I learned to drive you a truck. Tra- you train uh, to get your, your I, Yeah, because you thought this is license. what I might need to do. Yes, I have. Well, I've done that. Yes. And, got, and I didn't need to drive because yeah. in the end, people said, that's a bit sad. <laughs> they put it into a news story. So that's very sad. Let's give them a call. And they gave me the game so, any out of work racket does that to say that they're <laughs> yeah. getting a job? I mean, <laughs> a bit of a, a bit oh of no, a Rebecca slap. Gibney's turned to Uber. <laughs> it's a bit of a slap in the face to truck drivers. Yeah. <laughs> because I remember oh, years ago, yeah. in the seventies, a guy called Gerard something Kennedy, and he was in a show called Division Four, which was one of those big right. Cop yeah, it was shows. a cop show, yeah. yeah. And he was ended up being, you know, he had one, weird one of those glass eye people had a weird glass eye. That was, <laughs> He's one of those glass eye people, <laughs> you know, weird yeah, glass yeah. eyes that shoot but... off different directions. <laughs> and uh, he was driving a cab, and there's a big news. Oh my god, famous actor drives cabs. Yes. So I thought that's not a bad angle. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Went to the old truck driving. Anything truck. for publicity. Anything for good publicity. Is any publicity. So <laughs> we're going to speak more about it when uh, you bring Frankie in. Yes. But um, let's just quickly touch or on the. She brings me. Yeah, yes. she brings in um, the amazing race. Yes, yes, can't wait. I didn't even know you guys were on it until I saw the promo, and I was like, oh my I god, know. this and Frankie, it looks so great. It was really good fun. So yeah, this is celebrity fun. edition, obviously. Yeah, yeah two great celebrities at this stage picked out the bottom of the barrel, they scraped it, and we fell out, which is great. <laughs> 
And uh, no, you're a big celebrity. Do yeah. not you are. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can't say bottom of the barrel and they scraped you out because we're not even in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, we, uh, I had a ball. We didn't know where we were going to go. It was all pretty. They trying to, you know, did it all secretly, a little bit like the jungle, and that they yes. kept you apart. You didn't know who was yeah, going to be yeah, on. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and, is that um, right? Until you started, you didn't yeah, know who you're up yeah, against. Yeah. In so, case you tried to take the Twiggly sisters out behind. That's right. Scenes. I would have. Yeah. You would have tried to kill the two <laughs> Wow. Gee, really no, not that. kill them. Just take oh. them off the chessboard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right. hey, how long was that when you... How long of filming and how long ago? Are we that allowed was, to know uh, that part? Yeah, we did that back in June. So, yeah, right. So we, well, we went to Sydney and did some training. <laughs> training? What, sort of, what training. did they train you for? Rip the, thing off, rip the envelope open. Uh, <laughs> pull it out. Read the clue. Stop. Camera repositions. <laughs> yeah, really? Act like you're ripping it open. I thought, I, thought, yeah, really? I, right, I thought you were doing like personal training, like you know, you're going to go jump off <laughs> yes, a waterfall no. and then immediately after play Connect Four. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and then eat an ostrich egg. Yeah, yeah that's it. No. But you, you had to, to learn how to rip the envelope and stuff. <laughs> no, yeah, well, yeah, just the mechanics where the camera's got to go to do yeah. things, and then and also <sighs> we had little yeah, clues to find around the foyer of the hotel, <laughs> just <laughs> a, as a practice stupid. run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, hilarious. Just, and we'll talk about it later. But it was really good fun yeah. when we didn't go. Well, no. I'll I'll tell you about it. Well, I mean, okay, cool. let's talk about why you're here. Um, yes. uh, Chicago. And Chicago. all that jazz. Chicago. I mean, that, uh, all that used to be was where Oprah lived. Yeah, yeah. that's right. But, um, the Windy City. Who <laughs> are we in Chicago? Oh, that's Roxy a Hart? No, I'm not. I think that's my wife. Okay. That's my wife. Yeah, cool. yeah. So I sing a song called Cellophane Man, which is because I'm kind of an invisible character. So I'm one of the sort of really. Oh, I thought, yeah, I thought you were the thing that jazz up a basket full of soaps. <laughs> no, no. Cellophane Man. All right. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Um, it's a, uh, I sort of play a weak husband to a murderess. Mm. And uh, it's great. It's I, I sing a song and I. I don't know. I've got a few scenes, but it's really good. I haven't done a musical since well since Priscilla. Uh-huh. Priscilla. Yes. Before then, I did Rocky Horror Show in the nineties. I'm not a, not a musical guy. Yeah. Can I hear a little bit of the song? I, I don't know the song at all. How, how does it go? How, how was, <laughs> no, but how would one? How would one? Do how would one sing it? How would one sing it? How would one sing it? But how would one sing it? You're asking me to sing it. But how would one sing it? Sing would would go. Um, he would sing. Have you got it there? Yeah. Have you got it there? Harry, no, no, the Google's broken. Here we go. I'll just do it now. Can sing along with it. Oh, this sounds right like you should be taking clothes off as you're doing it. Yeah. Is it? Is this a disrobing like number? Yeah, it is. Is this talk singing though? Oh, no. no, this isn't no, that's, talk that's singing. singing. That's singing. <laughs> no, there's whisper singing for people that yeah. can't sing this talk singing, yeah. but this is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Da, 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 da. And there's a bit of. <laughs> A bit of dancing as well, really, isn't a bit of there? This one, a bit of yeah, bit of jazz hands, a bit of jazz yeah. hands, and a bit of low kick. This is hey, Pete, what got you kick. into? How did you get into the musical theatre side when you went to Rocky to start with? To oh, get okay. On so this path. a guy, when I was doing, I was in the I'd done the comedy company and yeah. things like that, and I was doing a bit of comedy around town. And one of the guys in that cabaret comedy scene in Melbourne was a guy called Nigel Trifford, who was more of a designer, mm. and he got to direct the the new Rocky Horror Show. Mm. Oh. So uh, it just had a big set and had, had a rocket that took off and stuff. I came to Perth in the late 80s. Yep. And I started doing that. And Gina Riley, Gina... Gina Reinhardt? No. <laughs> Riley. Yes. Gina Reinhardt was in it. She bought it, <laughs> Twiggy no. was in it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but we didn't have a big budget, which was weird. <laughs> and the, and the late was that Greg, the, Lang Hancock was in it. Was that the <laughs> horror part of it? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I did that. And Gina Riley was in it with Janet and... Uh, uh, so I was riff raff and out in the but, but why did you do it? Why? Yeah. Why, did, why did they because ask you? Because you were in the comedy. Oh, because I was just asked. It's a, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so you thought I'll give it a go? I'll give it because a crack. Like, I'm not a singer. No way. Yeah, that was my question. Sure. So yeah. I like, can hold a tune. But if I, you're it, not a singer, musical theatre is an unusual career path. Yes, you know what is. I mean? Yes. Because right now you're. More, would you be more nervous singing to us right now rather than a stage full of people? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Wow. Why you, you've got a Is it because of our judging voice. faces? Yeah, the big nose in front of me. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, we'll start singing in front of me. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Don't. Don't. Start singing in front of me. Pete Rose, not singing. Not singing in front of me. But how would one sing? Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that again. It's, it's like a trick. More of Pete Rose. Say one. Unless he storms out, which is imminent. I'm going to storm out. 
Pete, we are talking about Chicago, which yes, is are. coming uh, in November here. You're doing it for a month, right? Uh, no, longer. I'm doing it for mm-hmm. months and months. Oh, oh you're travelling around. Though. It's here yeah, for a month? Yeah, yeah. From, but it starts in Perth. No musical mm-hmm. ever starts in That's Perth. That's true. Normally, they always go in Sydney, yes. Melbourne, mm-hmm. Adelaide. Every, they've gone everywhere. By the time it gets to Perth, everyone's limping into town going, yeah. Yeah. 400th <laughs> yeah. one of these. Yeah, yeah. We, Perth doesn't get, even get the understudies. We get the stage hand. And <laughs> 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 they just blurred the lines last night. you still got your headphones on. Yeah. Backing it up every night, you get, you must get absolutely knackered where you go, I can't be asked. No? I, I don't say it out loud. <laughs> but no, look, when it's the musicals are fun, they're fun. To, it's a bit like rugby league. I, I fun to play, yes. not great to watch from, okay. from, from yeah, my point okay. of view. Yeah. I, I'm not a mad musical goer, yeah. but uh, when you're in them, that's great. I'm surrounded by really good singers. Like yeah. I can, I can hold a tune. No, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> Ask it another one. How would one hold a tune? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we, um, uh, yeah. So I, I just kind of. Um, it's exciting. You get a lot of drive from working with the professionals. Yeah. Eight <laughs> shows a week, are you doing? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And we get on. little breaks, though. So we go. We start in Perth, as I said, and yep. it's really good musical. Like it's, it's like a super famous one. Oh, yeah. So yes. Lots of Tony Awards, and, you know, mm. it's one of the best ones ever. And if you're from the musical crowd, they go, oh, my, I'm in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, they go, yeah really, okay. And I go, oh, this is good. I've got yeah. lucky. <laughs> have you, have you forged a close relationship with your understudy? I haven't found out who that is, Ooh, if I have one at all. Secret or, understudy. You need to know who's going to be pushing you down the stairs. I know. Yeah, you got, got showgirl. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, uh, an understudy will be planning to do I poison you right now. they want their moment to If shine. they push me down the stairs, yes. do I still get paid? Yeah. yeah. Push me down the stairs. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. If I could get pushed down the stairs yeah. and get paid to take be here and not be here, take me to the tallest set <laughs> and just shove. <laughs> no, we are gonna, it's going to be great. It's going to be a really good musical. Anthony Waller, who's like a superstar, yeah. you know, musical com- music. He is in it. Yeah. yeah. With and you. Did you he mean? know you were yes. going to be in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, hey, so we can come yeah, our audience Ventura spaces. as yeah. well. There's so many buzzy chairs and wheelchairs <laughs> in the audience. <laughs> In frames. The, <laughs> in the theatre world, is it is the overacting? Does that get to you sometimes? Because when I'm like watching, a pantomime, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you've got the, to be oh, big. And, and people in real life, because the like people that. up the back need to see you. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. It's something. Uh, it's finding your level. I think that's mm. what the, you know. To, I think that's why Hugh Jackman likes doing it. You kind of you can still act in it, and but still, but yeah. you burst into song occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> it's much like being but you're a bit jazzy. Me. And how would one burst into song? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Mr. Seller. Oh, Millie. Oh, Millie. No, do you I take lessons? Do they? Uh, do you have singing lessons? Is oh, that... they'll send you a little tape before yes. and say, "This is your sing-along track." So you sing okay. along in the car and you sing along out in the park. So you might see me do some jazz hands, walk just... on the dog. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Who's that guy? And uh, you just get your head around it. And the more you sing that one song over and over and over again, um, it sort of goes in. Then it sounds like you can sing. Um, yes. And if you make a bit of a character thing, put a bit of a character yeah. layer on top of it. Bit suddenly, of fun. yeah. What's your character layer? I'm oh, not sure. Yeah, you haven't worked it out. You've got till the twenty-first <laughs> of November. My character's always got hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Here's the hey. <laughs> Oh, he did it again. <laughs> Interesting Why choice. That? Interesting choice. So <laughs> you're going to have to be away for like Christmas and stuff because you're going to be in Brisbane after... Yeah, we go here up until Chrissy, then we stay here for Chrissy, go over early, late December, start, do, do Brizzy, come back in. Then I'm doing a film down in Albany. Oh, yeah. Come, yeah. Yeah, called oh. Frederickstown. I'm looking forward to it. What happened? Yes, you know Miles Pollard's and I'm playing a serial killer. Are you? Yeah. Really? I'm going to take my... Pro- this is a false tip. I'm going to unscrew it. It's good. Oh, it's wow. It's a screw in. Like a yeah, light bulb. Yeah, yeah like Can a light bulb. Can you unscrew it now? Or? No, not in front of you. I think well, but you, how would okay, one right. do it? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then they put a little plug in it and then yeah, they yeah, I yeah. Can walk around with no teeth in front. Going, Amazing. What are you staring at? Oh, You've got that in you, I reckon. So I reckon whenever... you'd be a convincing serial killer. I reckon I would mm. be. You mm. saw, I said, I, I watched a show just recently where someone got accident. It was a TV show, like you know, and someone accidentally got their um, tooth knocked out, and the actor didn't have a tooth in it. Yeah. Do actors really take their teeth out? Well, sometimes just, it can be done, you know, they just put that black stuff on there, but yeah, not yeah. anymore with cameras. They're probably not going to pull their healthy teeth out. No. Well, but I've seen that enough but. to know, to think that all these actors just couldn't have gotten the role that required them to have a false tooth, and they happen mm. to have one. Yeah, well, I happen to have one. So well, would gonna... you, as an actor, for a great role, pull one of your teeth out? 
How much is it? Like, I know that's still attached naturally. Yes. You pay me ten million bucks. Yeah. Yep. Ten million. <laughs> I'll take out rice. All of them. Yep. I'll take out rice. <laughs> yeah. Take I'll out rice. Sure. Take ten out million rice. dollars. Take yeah, out all your taste. Just, uh, put some yeah, plants back in. Yeah. You just get some yeah. plugins, yeah. Okay. yeah. Tell me in bucks, I'll just do whatever I want with my uh, one gummies. One million dollars. With my gums. <laughs> with your gums. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I can make another ten million. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can suggest some places. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, you get rid of the hiccups. If you want to see Pete Rose the one in Chicago, oh, everybody, and you definitely do, <laughs> it's happening at Crown Theatre the 21st of November to the 17th of December. Tickets from ticketmaster.com.au. Go and check it out, fast. everyone. Um, mate, selling, selling fast. fast and why yeah, wouldn't yeah. it? Go and see Pete. Cracker show. Okay. Um, it's Look, always mate. a pleasure. <laughs> Pete so Rose, well. man. Mate. So how long do we have to wait till we have to get you in before again? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, when does yeah when does that go to air? A couple of weeks, I think. All right, we'll I don't see know the day. I've been told. It's very shifty. We'll get Frankie to bring her dad in. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Who's her dad? Oh, oh I some has been. Showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Pete. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat, and Sean. We quickly should talk about the um the new iPhone. Apple fi- uh, Yeah, iPhone Apple 15. 15, so it came out overnight. They're going nuts over it. Is it just the USB port, Nath? The so basically port? what's happened port? is the lightning cable has been axed mm. and there's a reason for that. Apple were not happy about this. In 2022, the EU said that from yeah. late 2024, all phones sold in, um, in that area yeah, Europe. have to have a USB, a USB um, uh, C connect, uh, connector. So people it's don't more have to universal fiddle about, um, fiddle about um, yeah. uh, finding different cords and stuff. And because it's a waste. But... The Have thing about Apple is, yeah. whenever they re- they said that it's holding them back technically, you know, with the technical mm. advancements, but um, is it? They, you know, some of, we all think some There's of the reasons cost. why There's they change those oh, cords yeah, is to make money off yeah, those yeah, cords. Yeah, of so it's taking a revenue thing out of there, yeah. but don't worry about their revenue. They'll be fine. Um, the all the phones are going up at least a hundred dollars. Um, the top range ones are going over um, three hundred dollars. So it, a top iPhone, no, the Max ones, yes. it's going to be over $3,000. Yeah, so oh, that's the one man. with yeah. the highest level with all yeah. the storage. Well, they yeah. say there's that action camera type setting that you can yeah. use now, which is a bit different. And, and the watch obviously came out with the iPhone 9. Yeah. The watch now has got a feature that you can change things on the watch by tapping your index finger to your thumb. Yeah. But it's like, would have been funny if but it what was if you're clicking? But click? what if you're yeah. a, major, a major clicker? And then yeah, you're going to have to do it with the other hand. You're making an international call yeah. and you don't know about it and <laughs> you just bought something on, on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and dialed your mother-in-law. Yeah. A lot could go wrong, you know what I mean? It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. I have never been to Graceland. I you have. have. Yes. Tell Indeed. us about it, Nat. Well, it's not as big as you think it's going to be. Okay, yeah. And it's quite amazing because you to, to go it, to do a tour, you have to, the, you line up basically across the road, literally across the road, where there's a kind of like few shops and cafes and things and a um, souvenir shop and the rest of it. And then you get on a bus that literally drives you across the road, through the gates and drops you off and then you go in. And there are so many people there who are there clearly as their dying wish to go to Graceland. There are people lugging oxygen tanks and all sorts of people oh, really? that need assistance yeah. upstairs and all sorts of things And because all they want to do in their life is see Graceland. Well, this is it. It's okay. A lot of people, it's a one-in-a-lifetime experience yeah. and that was the case for um, a couple of British tourists, uh, a guy named Tommy and yep. his wife, Nanny. <laughs> Tommy Nanny. Nanny. Nanny, nanny, as in the nanny. Mm. Isn't that strange? Anyway, um, uh, Tommy saw an opportunity. Uh, he was out the back of Elvis's mm. backyard and he saw the pool. And then he saw that the security guard was not really close to the pool. Mm. Oh. Mm. So then he thought, well, what is one to do? I'm what never going to get a chance do? like this again. So he jumped onto the diving board and did a massive bomby. Um, the security were not happy about mm. it. Mm. You're not allowed in there, my well, You're not allowed to do that. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, we I sort of know from all with. the signs saying not to do it. And the it. fact yeah. that no one else is doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so he was escorted out, yeah. him and his wife, Nanny. Um, and then they posted it on Instagram and everyone was, like, calling them criminals and said, like, you're criminals. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean sacred, it is things. sacred. <laughs> That's why yeah, These are probably from Elvis fans. Elvis fans. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, that would be sacrilege to them. The pool is right next to where yeah. his grave is. Yeah. So, anyway. Anyway, so, Nanny you know, has taken um, onto ground. TikTok to defend her husband's actions. Yep. She started by talking about how um, Elvis would not have been upset because Elvis once caught someone swimming in his pool 
and Elvis just let him go. So she cited Buddy Holly. Elvis. That's, oh, so she had, um, a, you know, um, previous case. Previous case, well Elvis done. case. Precedent. To go, well, no, Elvis is cool with it, right? Um, but then she, um, she, you know, she did have an opinion on people that were having a go at her and her husband, and, and here she is. Elvis caught someone jumping in his pool once, and he never stopped him. That's what a pool is meant for us to jump into. We did get escorted because we don't want anyone else to get the idea to jump into it. It's not my fault you never got the chance and never got the nerve of jumping in his pool. It's not my fault you are jealous. You're just jealous. jealous. It's not he has my an amazing fault. accent, by the way. Pool, a pool was there to be jumped into. Yeah, that's right. If you see a pool, you have to yeah. jump in it. Everybody knows that. We want to know um, 13, 24, 10, and some of these may be a little bit um, uh, naughty because Bo- borderline. you really shouldn't have jumped in mm. Elvis's pool. Might have been against the rules. But you know what? You're never going to get another chance, so you should just do it. That's what we're talking about. You're never going to get another chance. You've realised now is your time. Mm-hmm. What did you seize? What mm. opportunity did you yes, take hold of? come on. These are going to be fantastic. And maybe you've got another opportunity that you want to go and see um, and we can get you there with $200 cash from What If. Stop it. Uniquely Aussie experiences are only a What If away. Book your next trip on the What If app. What If it's Aussie for travel. All right. Me. Own up. You realise you were never going to get another chance so you just went and did it. Stories all around the world. Mm. People jumping in that fountain. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The Trevi fountain. Trevi fountain. fountain. Yeah. People are like, get out. It's like, well, yeah. wait there. Well, yeah. I'm one opportunity. Get another chance. you got to take the opportunity. One time I was out at Nutter Wadding. My uh, Rove was shooting his show out yeah. there. Yeah. So I was out there and then the show finished and I took the opportunity with my cousin Luke to sneak out the back where the Lasseter's set You went was. to Neighbours. I yep. went to the Neighbours Lasseter, in Lasseter's. We yes. had a beer in there. You had a beer in Lasseter's. Hey, how good's that? Hilarious. Uh, let's go to Rebecca and Coogee. Hi, Rebecca. Hey guys, how you going? Good mate, we're right, talking right. about seizing the moment because you were there. What'd you do? Yeah, it was a little bit naughty. We were up at um, 80 Mile Beach, which is up between Port Hedland and Broome. Yep. And um, it's well renowned for its shells on the beach. And there's big signs there saying, please don't take the shells, you know, due to nature and all that sort of stuff. Due to nature. And, um, <laughs> due to nature. <laughs> came, came, came across the, uh, a big cone shell, which literally went from my fingertips to my elbow. Oh. Um, and it was bright orange, and I've never seen anything like it. And so, of course, that kind of has made its way home to go on my coffee table. Oh, God, you would have had to. Okay. You couldn't leave that. But, but, so no, why, why don't they want you taking the shells? Is it so other animals can crawl in and live in them? Like, what is the deal? I, I, I think it's to do with the hermit crabs, to be honest. Oh, the okay. crazy yeah. crab that can't yeah. carry one that big? But, yeah, how, how big is the crab that's yeah, going to yeah. come and crawl crab. into that one? That's insane. I would want to come across it, that's for sure. So um, does everyone comment on it? Yeah, they are. They love yeah. it, especially because mm. of the colour too. Like I've never seen. Yeah, the, the bright orange factor combined with the. Are size, you sure you didn't just pick it. up a witch's hat? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, you know, it's not, not colour off it. Hey, that'd be worth a bit, wouldn't it? Oh, oh, oh sure. Like, you always have to put a monetary price. value like, on yes, everything. Yes, I do, Sean. Natalie. Yes, I do. <laughs> Why well, is it? Is people would sell real shells. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Sally does. Sally sells <laughs> these shells. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's right. There's a shell shop in Esperance, Nathan. In the museum village. Remember the owls? Yeah, exactly. They made these shell owls. Thanks, Beck. Denise is in High Wickham. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. Is this a story about your hubby, Hi. Denise? What did he do? Yes. Right. We were actually at Graceland. It, he's a massive, massive Elvis fan. Mm. And it was the year after 9-11. Mm. So um, we were doing a world tour, actually. And we were in Memphis. And we were at Graceland. And as you are well aware, the grave sites are out the back. Well, he decided he was going to pick up a pebble off of the um, Elvis's grave, which he did. Oh, a pebble. And he put it in his pocket. Yes. yes. <laughs> and he took it all the way back here to Australia. Yeah. And he had to have it made into a ring because he's also a collector of rings. Ah, oh, 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 he has a, a pebble. A rock on his ring <gasps> that is from yes, Elvis's now, grave. Yes. Now, what he did, we took it to a jeweller friend. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that friend's even listening. Um, and we paid over $1,000 to have this unique ring made. That It's Kevin's pride and joy. Mind you, he's got a hands full of rings, so mm. everyone's going to know who he is. <laughs> yes. Wait there, when you, Denise, when, when, when you say that Kevin's got a handful of rings, how many does he have on each, like, does he have multiple on each finger or one on each finger? 
No, every finger. Every, every finger, finger has finger. a ring. You don't see a lot of men Except with that thumb. many rings on, yeah? Except no, no. for the thumb, thumb. because yeah. that would be weird. And they're all, all gold, but he has spare rings now as spare well, rings. which he only pulls out to special occasions. Yes. Yeah. And the Elvis ring is one of those. It's a special occasion, so, ring, for sure. Can you tell me about the peb? Also, they just like... Uh, just normal it's, petals we uh, put in our garden beds, so like to a, speak, like over a river, the... Like a river yeah, petal kind of thing. Um, yeah, as Nat would know when she was visiting, they're just white granite yes. rocks. I couldn't see the point in it. Oh, right uh, so, so what you'd find in a fish tank, that sort of look? Uh, a no, bit it's bigger. a bit bigger. It's more like just a, a, a white rock. I don't know. Yeah. It was, to me, it was a silly thing to do. <laughs> no, but it's Elvis's, it's Elvis's graves. That is, that's a talking that thing. Is the point. Can I tell it's you... I am speaking on behalf of everybody in Perth right now. Can you please send us a photo of this? Yes, this please. Ring? We need to see this ring. Is that a, mm. is that possible? Um, I don't know how to do it, but I will try. So okay. where would I send the photo oh, to? We'll I you will out. send we'll you out a prepaid envelope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll sort it out to you. I'll sort it out. And a Polaroid camera. Uh, and we'll pay for your film to get developed. <laughs> They still doing that at the chemist? They oh, are. Okay, they cool. Are. All right, thirteen, twenty, four, ten. <laughs> we want to know if you did something because you saw the opportunity, you seized the moment, you thought, "I'm never going to get the chance to do this yeah. ever again," so I'm just going to do it, even if it's slightly on the dodge. Yeah, which we're fine with. Mm. I mean, Elvis's grave has been stripped bare of all its rocks. Well, we're fine. But you know what? Um, his skull as your necklace is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Wes in Burn Beach. Hey, Wes. Hey, how you going? Hey, Good, Wes. Wes. All right, so taking the opportunity because it's once in a lifetime and you're there, Wes, what'd you do? Well, it was, um, you know, it was a great big millennium change from 1999 to 2000. It's a big time. Eve, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it was like the Y2K, the world was going to end. Well, it's going to end, mate. Remember that? People thought planes were going to fall down. out of the sky. Computers, no? Clocks yeah. wouldn't know what to do. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, we'll, like, we'll um, I guess, New Year's Eve party in... in um, in the centre of Brisbane, Fortitude Valley, and and I was right near the Story Bridge, and basically as the clock, you know, stri- um, strike 12 o'clock, I ran across the Story Bridge in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> so, what a great celebration. What a, what a time to yeah. be alive, too. Uh, like, if you're going to do it, uh, that's the time to do it. I've New millennium. I've run across bridge yeah. with my and clothes that's, on. Yeah, that, that, that's called the one DK. Mm, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you get a few yeah, really long the, yeah. the, the, the photos are, you know, like... You know, quite a memento, but they were actually quite embarrassing because, you know, everything was on the upswing, if you get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get what you mean. Thank you for making that super hey, visual. Where's, how long ago was that? Well, 99. Oh, 2000. 2000. So, so, yeah, so, so, were you, so were you in way better nick back then than you are now? Yeah, how long was that? I was 30. Mm. So, yeah. You know what? It's, yeah, it's I, I watched. There's an episode on Shit's Creek that Moira says to her daughter, or says to Frankie, uh, sorry, Stevie on the front desk, take a thousand nude photos of yourself now because when you're it, older, it you'll look back better. on kinder eyes with kinder <laughs> eyes. I'm really glad that Wes has that. Yeah, that's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Uh, thanks, Wes. Troy's in Morley. Hello. Hello. Hey, Troy. Troy. All right, Troy. When did you seize the moment? Because you thought, I've only got one chance of this. Uh, it was back in 93, my graduation year for high school, mm. um, and we'd made the inter-school swimming carnival, um, and the the government school sports minister was doing the presentation at the end of the thing, and me and my buddy had escaped from our little school cordon off area, yeah. jumped the fence, jumped, got down on the deck, climbed the tower, mm-hmm. and then as the minister was making a presentation we screamed at our school's name and jumped off yeah right <laughs> so off the 10 metre platform oh uh, no it was the top platform I, I think it's like it, it it was dangerously high yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah be the yeah, 10 metre yeah. I think yeah. it was yeah. higher than yeah. 10 yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Where were you, Challenge and my Stadium? Buddy that was with me, he wanted to bail right last minute. He's like, I want to go off the second top one. I'm like, no way, mate. This yeah. is it's all or nothing. It's it. All it's or it. nothing. Mm. Troy, um, yeah. my cousin Maureen, who um, uh, was living in Kalgoorlie, she jumped off the highest diving board in the Kalgoorlie Olympic pool, and she has she was a very large breasted woman. <laughs> and she hit the uh, water, Troy, with such force that it split the skin from underneath both of her boobs. Of her melons. That's why you never go to the top one. <laughs> it's a lesson for everybody there, it isn't is. it? Thank you, Troy.
Sean? Absolutely. <laughs> we have $200 cash, uniquely Aussie experiences. are only a what if away. Book your next trip on the what if app. What if it's Aussie for travel? Denise was telling about her husband who stole the... Um, the pebble um, the from pebbles Elvis's from, grave. Yeah, we're, we're going to check out the photos. Sooner enough, we'll get them. <laughs> and, uh, it's being developed at the chemist. <laughs> looking forward to it. That's coming your way, Denise. Nathan, Nat and Sean in podcast form. One hundred grand or one hundred in the hand. Thanks to Liberty Loans for Free Thinkers got a grand idea. Free think your way to a home, car, or personal loan with Liberty today. Eligibility and conditions apply. Oh, I tell you what, it'd be good to be in Steve from Allenbrook Shoes right now. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Hey, Steve. Steve. You get to make a choice, my yep. friend. So, Steve, we know about the um, $100,000, a possibility of winning that. By the way, that's going to be won by somebody on Friday yes. during the drive show here on Nova. Oh, oh, how good. 425 yep. people yep. in the running for yep. that. So there is a chance of that, but we do know that in our show this week, a guaranteed $1,000 will go into your hand. If that's what you want. Steve, oh. the big choice. Definitely taking the cash. Oh, a thousand bucks, Steve. Weird how when it's a thousand dollars, everybody wants it. Isn't it? I would have taken the hundred too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what have you? Honestly, Which Steve. Yeah, you would have taken a hundred bucks. Cash. I'm a sucker for cash. There we yeah, go. Yeah. yeah. What like are you it? going to do with your um thousand bucks, Steve? Uh, my daughter's birthday is coming up next weekend, so. So you're going to take selling. off for the weekend? <laughs> 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 yeah, I will actually just myself. Yeah. How, how old is she going to be, Steve? Uh, she turns three, so we're taking oh, her to the cute. Royal Show. Oh, awesome, Steve. Well, okay, go. well, there goes your grand. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> going to have to go into the draw for the 100000 <laughs> Yeah, the, the $1,000 is just going to pay for the entry fee and yeah. then uh, put it in my own pocket for some food. And You'll and have a great time. There's a couple of You'll show love bags. it. She'll yeah. love it there. Best Good day on ever. You, Steve. Well done, all right, buddy. Steve. Yeah, right, thanks. The no thousand bucks is all yours. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. We're out of here, yes. everybody. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow though, so on super tomorrow, busy. Um, f- the last round of flash foods. It's about to say flash floods. Floods. <laughs> <laughs> it works. So it does flash um, floods. Flash foods tomorrow. Mm. So Sean versus. Who? A orange on a stick. See how we go. Who do we have coming in tomorrow? We'll have to look at the timing because Gilly. Gilly's Gilly. going to be in here. So maybe Gilly. Sean versus Gilly. Yeah, let's do it. It'll be Gilly amazing. Or, or Emma O'Driscoll's coming in from the Fremantle Dockers. Oh, she'd wipe She'd the floor smash you. you. She'd she'd smash you. But I'll take her on. Luke Darcy as well. Luke Darcy, ahead of the finals football. He's we'll on, the phone. on the phone. Oh, he's mm. on the phone. Mm. 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 All right. Gilly. Yeah, interesting. Gilly, yeah, it Gilly, is Gilly then. Then. Hey, what do you reckon? Gilly, it is. Okay. Hi, Ross. Hello. Hi, Ross. I miss Hi. I miss Red Flash Foods uh, for the first couple of days, and I was calling it Flash Floods, but no one correct. Yeah. Correctly. Oh, Why does anyone calling to play? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. This might interest you, Nate, because there's not much TV I get into, but I just got a notification on my watch. New episode of Morning Wars. There's yes. a new, uh, yeah. new, mm. new season, so there's two apps out. Bloody good. Yeah, that's really cool. Morning Wars is Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston, and they do, they're, they're breakfast like uh, TV. breakfast TV hosts. Mm. Okay, cool. And, uh, mm. and uh, Jennifer Aniston's, of course, the older one. She's the younger one. Yes. They were like butting heads. And Steve Carell Steve was, Carell was in it. Oh, yeah. Exact because he got all touchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. Not hashtag Steve Carell, the, no, the character. The character, oh, little touchy. Geez, right. <laughs> like, Steve Carell thought he'd yeah. No, no, and Steve Carell also wasn't a 40 year old virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.